Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tax Laws video here from the IFA 2015 in Berlin. I'm here with a brand new Motorola Moto 360 watch second generation. I charged the watch overnight with a wireless charging station. You can also use any Qi charging station you got. And now we are doing the setup. But this time we don't use an Android device because Android were now placed not perfectly fine, but a place okay uh, with iPhone. So I got here my iPhone, I got the Android Wear watch here and first thing you want to do is head over to the App Store, search for the Android Wear app, download it and after you have downloaded it, just start it, open it up and there we go. And uh, now it's asking do you got the watch? Of course I got the watch. Next step First of all, now head over to the to the to the watch here, um, and swipe left and choose language. I just choose English, and in the next step, agree to Motorola privacy policy. Yes, of course, I have no other choice to do this, and connect your watch to your power source. You can do this, but now the watch was charged. Uh, I still got over around 80% left, so just swipe. Let's start by pairing your watch with your phone. This is what I want to do. I want to pair both devices. And uh, now there's a question, uh, do I accept uh, Google Fit? Um, yes, just save my data. Um, and now they are starting to pair, they are starting to search each other. And they found each other. Pairing the watch and I got the Moto 316 on my iPhone. I accept it and it turns green and on iPhone, I have to enter the code. This is shown on the Android watch to pair both devices to each other. And now the watch is turning green as well. Uh, pairing is done. And now we just wait because the 360 is now updating and syncing and checking if everything is up to date and all the normal stuff. This will take up to one to five minutes. So just give both devices some time. And we are done. So I get a setup instructions, not a setup, I get a tutorial on my iPhone about the functions. It's a short video, I can watch this, but um, you don't really have to, you can just skip it because why you want to, do, do you want, would you want to watch a video? Uh, so setup is ready, so done. And do I want to allow it to connect, uh, connect it with my Google account? Yes. Uh, okay, use the Google Apps. Now, what about notifications? Yes, please. What about um, my GPS location? Yes, please. Now it's a question, do you allow the Android Wear app to use your GPS information on your iPhone? Yes, and this is really nice that I have to can allow or deny this stuff on, on, on iOS. On Android, in the next update uh, on Android 6.0 uh, Marshmallow, you can get the same features here. So we are now on the watch. And now I, what I wanted to show you is because don't watch the video, because on the smartwatch you get the same tutorial. And if you want to learn something about the watch and how you, the watch uh, works so, then do it on the watch I mean don't watch a video on the smartphone do it really on your own it's like like the Google uh, like the Amazon Kindle stuff you always have to do this tutorial to get to know the device and this is nice it explains you that you can wipe up that you can swipe to get rid of notifications that you can swipe in the other direction to get more details more informations um, you got a step counter you can wish uh, swipe this away you get some information about apps and functions. Yeah, you can uh, shut down the off the screen or the brightness or reduce the brightness while while, with, while covering or with during. No, <laughs> if you are covering the screen, we're completely with your hand or any other body part you want to use for this one. It goes back on. You can cover it back. And if it's dimmed, just double tap or do a wrist movement or push a button and the watch will be back on full brightness. So last one last thing is get some informations one yeah the last thing is this is a normal standard watch face you can change the watch faces with the app or directly on the app uh, on the watch via the settings menu or just keep she keep pushing and there you go there you can change the watch face uh, let's take purist uh, reduction no I take now reduction here 
and a nice little watch face here. Now we can push the button once and uh, we got OK Google or the screen will turn off. Or oh, it's it's now set uh, set uh, it's now set to to always on and I want to show you the settings menu, so we keep pushing the button and there we go now we got settings here sorry it switched back in German um, because my iPhone is on <laughs> in German language and now they are paired and now the watch is in German uh, in German as well, but it's the same here it's just settings. And you head over to settings. First off is brightness control. It's now an automatic modus. And now let's get full brightness. And wow, five is br the brightest settings. And this is really, really bright. But think about your battery. On the other hand, one is the lowest settings, which is what I have to test it this night. Maybe one is too bright uh, for, for a dark room. But as, as always, I just set it on automatic. Uh, let's swipe back. No, get back to settings. I was swiping too fast. Next step is change the watch face. We already did this size, change uh, size, font, font size. Now, what about the display? It's always on, so you can always see uh, the watch face, and you can mm, depends on how bright your surroundings is. You can guess or even see uh, the time. Uh, as always, keep press a button to activate the screen to normal. Double tap it. Double tap it. Come on, double tap it. Double there. <laughs> there we go. Double tap it. Or just do do the wrist movement. Let's put the on the watch on my wrist. So that you can see it in full action here. And yes, the watch is getting warm. Uh, not hot, but you can definitely feel setting up the watch, checking all the the updates uh, gets keeps gets the watch working. Uh, what else we got? Screen always on. Uh, wrist movements here is, are activated and accessibility resets the device, shut it down, restart it. And now let's check over to some info here. What about the version? We got Android Wear 1.3.0. Point and a lot of numbers. And we got Android software here on 5.1.1. So this is it. Uh, this is all I got to tell you about the second generation of the new Motorola Moto X right now. Uh, I will of course test the device in the next couple of days and tell you more about the performance, notifications, what about how well Android Wear works now on iOS or on an iPhone. And the big question is what about the battery life of the second generation? Did it improve? And this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. And. Now wrist movement. There we go. Bye.